Did you know that Ben Gurion International Airport is not in Tel Aviv? On your flight ticket, Israel National Airport is marked as TLV, which stands for Tel Aviv. But the airport is actually located 26 kilometers from Tel Aviv. This video is all about the different ways to get from Ben Gurion International Airport to Tel Aviv. This video is not sponsored by anyone and was created only from our own experience. Hey guys, thank you for watching our video and welcome to Ben Gurion Airport. airport. In this video, we're going to show you how to get from Ben Gurion Airport to, to Tel Aviv. Aviv. We have a couple options. In this video, we're going to show you all the options and how much it's going to cost you. So, and of course, if you like our video, don't, don't forget, forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like or a comment. Guys, remember on Friday evening and Saturday morning till about till dark, okay? There is no public transportation. Option number one is, of course, the bus. Uh, the moment you get out from the uh, terminal, the terminal to, on the left. The, to the right. Oops. To the right, about 150 <laughs> feet, 55 meters, you're going to see a sign with the bus to Jerusalem and to Tel Aviv. The buses operate between 4.20 a.m. to 11 p.m. and it's about every two hours. Going by train from Ben Gurion Airport to Tel Aviv can stop at any of the four stations in Tel Aviv. You have the North Station, it's the university, you have the middle one which is also a public transportation, a big public transportation there. It's called the Central Savidor train station in Tel Aviv. You have Shalom train station, which is uh, near the mall of uh, Azrieli. And the fourth is Agana, which is the south station in Tel Aviv. Make sure which station is near your hotel. From there you can take a taxi, you can take a bus, it's really easy. Let's show you how to buy and purchase uh, the card of public transportation. It's called Ravkav. In Israel, public transportation, you cannot get on the bus and pay with cash. You have only the card that you can buy in advance. In not in every station you can buy this card, but here in the airport, you have machines that you can buy the card. It's anonymous, it's without any details of your credit or anything, and you can charge it in this machine where you bought it, and you can charge it also with your cellular, with the app. And you have also an app, it's called Move It. It's really easy, and you can uh, operate it by your cellular. the terminal to your left at the platform you have a service of taxi it's called Shoru taxi it's a, actually a shared taxi it's really recommended if you are alone you don't have a lot of luggage uh, it's the best way to transport to Jerusalem or to Haifa to Tel Aviv one of the options is a Ben Gurion private transfer it's the best option if you come by group Yes, it operates 24-7. And it costs about, to Tel Aviv, it costs $79. And, and to, to Jerusalem, $139. We're going to put, the, of course, the link, link below. To and in the description, you... of course. When there is no public transportation in Israel, you must take a special taxi. Uh, it's in the same platform, outside of the terminal, uh, at your left. Uh, they charge you about 170 shekels, uh, $50. Uh, make sure they uh, won't charge you above it. Let's go to Tel Aviv. Okay, so this uh, machine is suitable for cash, for a credit card with Wi-Fi and also for with Ravkav. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. We took the train from Ben Gurion Airport to Hashalom train station, which is one of the four train stations in Tel Aviv. Then we took a bus number 23 straight to our hotel. 
We chose to stay at the southern part of Tel Aviv, in a Vet Zedek neighborhood, a charming area that is over 130 years old. Arrived! I love this neighborhood. It's beautiful, it's so calm, so quiet. Like the old Tel Aviv? Yeah. but with style. Nevet Zedek was founded out of the necessity to get out of the dance wall Jaffa and soon became a colorful home to artists, writers and musicians living and working in the area. The neighborhood retains its historic charm with many of the original colorful buildings and street preserved. Taking a glimpse of our boutique hotel will give you an idea of what Nevet Zedek is all about. The building is one of the first buildings in Tel Aviv. Over the years, the building was used as a bakery, a printing house, a banquet hall, and a wine bar. Let's check out the window! <laughs> I love the material, the original material. Private. This yeah. one is also beautiful, private. Wow. Listen to the birds, so many trees. Yeah, there's a pigeon. There's a tree inside. <laughs> I chose the room. This is the one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, honey, this is beautiful. The restoration of the building was done to preserve its special character and architectural history. Exposed brick walls and metal ceiling dams are part of the carefully preserved ancient character and color. We are in finally in our hotel. <laughs> what a great decision! I'm yeah. proud of you! I'm proud of you! Now, when you think about that, it took us from the airport, we took a half an hour on the train, another 50 minutes by bus. You saw the bus, how small the bus was? Of course, it has to go through all of these narrow streets of yeah, South Tel Aviv. Yeah, a beautiful street, and this place is quite, there's a lot of places, a lot of things to do here. Nevet Zedek is, is an um, amazing neighborhood. It became like a home to all the galleries. Artists, the, a lot. Very popular place here in Tel Aviv. If you come to Tel Aviv, check out this place to stay. We're going to put, of course, a link in the description down below. A great advantage is uh, in this neighborhood, it's close to Rothschild Street and uh, to the beach and to Allenby. And if you really like, want to, to experience the Tel Aviv life, this is the great, uh, yes. great uh, yes, neighborhood please. to be. This hotel has also a restaurant. Let's go check it out. Yeah, a bit so I'm hungry. You're always hungry. <laughs> 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 so we'll take the morning for two. It's full of variation of eggs and the salads and amazing things. Of course, also hummus and the feta cheese and the, with bread, special bread, and the drinks. What do you want to drink? I want the uh, orange juice. Okay, and for me a mimosa. Mimosa? Okay. Mimosa and oranges. Great, thanks. Thank you. Nevet Zedek is known as a trendy and upscale neighborhood, full of upscale shops, excellent restaurants and galleries. Staying in this area will give you also a chance to explore the local cuisine, ranging from traditional Israeli cuisine to modern fusion dishes. Oh 
So after a long flight, I finally have some nice... What is now? It's lunch? <laughs> it's brunch. Brunch. Oh, it's... I'm struggling to decide. You can tell the places are connected because it speaks in the same uh, language, all the style here. Have you seen the bathroom, all the signs? It's an uh, actual uh, real commercial that used to be in Israel like 60 years ago, 70 years ago. Beside exploring the boutique shops and cafe, it is recommended to wander through the narrow street and the colorful architecture. Neve Tzedek is also just a short walk from the beach. The beach offers a great view of the Tel Aviv skyline, sunbathing and of course a chance to swim. If you liked our video and got this far, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give us a like or even leave us a comment below.